and welcome to this Tinkercad circuit tutorial with me. My name is Dr. Erica and I'm so excited that you're here with us. Make sure you check out our other Tinkercad circuits in our YouTube videos and support us at patreon.com slash Rosie Research. We are in the middle of making a police car that on this breadboard, if you actually make it in real life, you'll have a little car at the end that will move off to the right. So in our last video, we wired up our LEDs and we have these awesome red, green, blue LEDs that are sort of shifting between each other. We have a nice light bar. And today we are gonna add a siren because every good cop car has a siren. And to make noise in circuits, we can often use a speaker or in Tinkercad, we can use a piezo buzzer. So this is what our piezo buzzer looks like. And you can come and put it sort of wherever you would like in your circuit. Um, I'm gonna I think I'm going to actually turn this around so that you guys can see the wiring a little bit better. That way our wires, you can see where things are connected. So piezo buzzers are like LEDs, they're one-way streets. So you have a negative and a positive. So the negative needs to go into ground. So that's the first thing we'll wire up. We'll wire up this negative leg straight up into our ground pin on the board that's hooked into our Arduino. And I'm gonna color that black because I always like these things to be colored black if it's going into that ground pin. Now, the positive pin is gonna be run by our Arduino and we're gonna program it to make some noises for us. And we're gonna run it into pin five, or oh, sorry, pin four, because we're not currently using that pin and I'm going to color it a different color. We'll say let's color it yellow. So that's all I need to do in terms of building my circuit. Now I need to add some code to tell that piezo buzzer to go on. So let's give ourselves a little bit more space here. We'll pull this over like that. And if I look on my output, I have a whole bunch of different things that I can do. Now not everything that you can build with in Tinkercad has the blocky programming. At some point, we are gonna have to switch to text only. So we are gonna have to learn how to write these, but we won't have to do that quite yet, which is pretty great. So there is this line of code in output that says play speaker on pin zero with tone something for a hundred or for an amount of time. So what I can do is I can put this right into my two blocks of code. So this is when, as my things are flashing, maybe I have it make a sound like wah, 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 like that. So I'm gonna play the speaker at the same time that I switch these lights on or off. And my speaker, if we follow this line over, this yellow line, my speaker is on pin four. All right, so I am going to put my speaker onto pin four. And you'll notice it automatically starts writing this code in here for me. And I'm gonna pick an initial tone. I'm gonna to say maybe 500 hertz. So this is all hertz. So 500 is kind of like a loud, that's like the wee, and then we'll put a higher number, which will be the part of it. And here, these lights are on for half a second. So what I can do is have this play for a half a second so that when these lights switch, I can switch that tone. So I can pull out another line of code. I'm gonna put it above that weight so all of my blue blocks are sort of together. Again, I'm gonna play that speaker on pin four and I'll choose a new tone maybe 900 hertz, and I will put that on for half a second as well. And you'll notice as we do this, it is writing that code for us in the C++, which is amazing. And again, we don't have all the blocks that we'll always want. At some point, we will start writing in C++, and it's great to be able to see it. So let's go just to blocks, and we can start our simulation. It's gonna get a little bit loud as we do this, and we will look over up here, it'll tell us our simulation running time, because it's not gonna feel like it's quite even, like what it did before. Sometimes Tinkercad has trouble playing these piezo buzzers with the blocky programming, so there might be some lag, and you can see that lag in their simulation time. All right, let's check it out. So that is our buzzer. You can imagine if it was playing at an even rate, you would have the uh, 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 which is what will happen in real life. Tinkercad is just having a little bit of trouble putting that all together. 
So that is our project this time. Next time we will add on some motors so that we can have some wheels to our police car to drive it around. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you guys had fun with this circuit project. We'll talk to you soon.